Mundimo. Hmm. Sanunyan. In day one. Um, yin shi shi, yin shi back and crown. I will say more of the budget because I'm a budget lady. But anyway, it's all about our beautiful Nigeria, our rich culture and heritage. We have over 300 ethnic groups, all in one country, all with different culture and tradition. Here, I have something from the Fulani people. I have something from the Igbo people. I have something from the Yoruba. I have something from, you know, different parts of the country. And that is what the program is about. The program is Royal Heritage Edition of Rachel the Piper. What do we have on today? Let's see. We will head on to the cradle of Yoruba land. Ile Ife in Ocean State for the Oloku Festival. Yes, real rich culture. You want to come? You shall come. Rachel the Piper. I am the Heritage Ambassador of Oloku here in Ileife and all the best to the viewers out there. <laughs> what a beautiful afternoon in Ileife, Ocean State, Nigeria. The street is full of activities. We have motorists, we have people, we have Owambe. You know the Yoruba people like to party. More importantly, we're standing at a very significant place in Nigeria. The entrance of the Grand Palace of the Oni of Ife. And what are we doing here today? We've come for the yearly festival. Are you interested in coming along with me? Come along. Let's go in and have some Owambe time. <laughs> This festival we are doing in Leife. Leife is the cradle of Yoruba, Yoruba is. So we are here to celebrate our culture, to promote our culture, and to let people know about our culture. So it's all about cultural expression. Nigeria has over 300 ethnic groups. Yoruba is just one out of these 300. So you can imagine how diverse it is out here in this beautiful country and look at this we have so much in terms of um, artistry heritage this is the oba himself what a beautiful statue i think i should have a picture here don't you think so culture, tradition, heritage here. I'm having a fantastic time because everything that has to do with our culture makes me happy. I'm honored to be standing amongst sheaves. Let's start with the lady. Good evening, princess. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Congratulations. Thank you so much. So what happens to you today? Is it tomorrow? Oh, today. And we started already. I danced and the old local dance and tomorrow we're going to continue. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> so what, are you like a chief? Are you a princess? Oh, no, I'm a princess. You're a princess? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Fantastic, nice to meet you and beautiful palace this is. And thanks, she is actually our host. Lovely lady, wonderful woman. Finally, we don't have money now. Also, who don't pay now? Twale, Baba got now. Elegia, Lele, one day they say, Ele, he go. My loss, Ubalajao, Sosigalao, CCT. What we are observing here today is the Olukun Festival, which simply means the Ajay Festival. And that Ajay means kind of like wealth. So it's, it's a particular day where people 
come around it's celebrated once in a year why people come around and pray to their ancestors for uh, uh, for their well-being for the success of the family and the well-being of the state as well So I just guess who I just ran into in the palace here? The devil. Is he an actor? Is he real? Let's hear from him. He will do the interpretation. Hello, Eka, Eka song. Ekurole. Ekurole. That's great. Okay, good evening, Ekurole. Yeah. So who is this person standing? This is not a devil. My devil? Yes. What does he mean? Does he stay here always? He not stay here, but he always come for this place. Okay, he's an actor. He's an actor. He's an actor. Yeah. Wow. So the devil himself is standing here. Yes, now can you see the can you see this thing? Wow, that's a real chicken. Yes. That's serious. Yes. So <laughs> what does the devil do? Ah, the devil knows good at all. Hey. Oh devil not go enter your house in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So am I safe standing here? Yeah, you are safe now. You call it inside the palace. Yes. Oh fantastic. Nice to meet you, devil. Nice to meet you. Wow, so I just had an encounter with the devil here at the palace of the Oni of Ife. I tell you, this festival is full of so many things. We're having a great time. We're just having a tour around. Let's continue. <laughs> What can you say about this festival? Well, what I will say about this festival is we love the festival and we are praying that our king he will long and long and long. I tell you, culture and tradition, heritage too is everywhere around us. Sitting here at the very entrance of the palace of the Oni of Ife, the atmosphere is so serene. And what with these beautiful statues that have graced this place for decades or even centuries. I don't know how long this has been, but I intend to find out. Well, we'll call it a day on the first day. Tomorrow is the Olokun Festival. I'm excited. Adupe for following me around, Abi. Adupe is thank you, Abi. <laughs> Tomorrow. Rachel the Piper. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am in Yoruba land right now. I am in the historical Ile Ife in Oshu State, Nigeria. When you talk about the Yoruba people of Nigeria, you cannot talk without mentioning Ile Ife, the tradition, the heritage, the history, oh my goodness, very rich. But that tells you what we have in Nigeria, over 300 ethnic groups in one place, all different people. You can see me, I'm rocking the traditional ensemble of this festival, it's the Olokun festival, and white is the color of the day. We have the beautiful, beautiful heritage ambassador of Olokun, that's Princess Latifat. Wurola Momodu, she's been excellent. She put together this event. And of course, our chief host is the Oni of Ife. We know how charismatic he is and how much he's doing to add to the development of Nigeria. Enough of the talk. Let's go around in just a little and then I will bring the fun to you. Just to let you know, myself and the chief Robert Folayan. We represent the Nigerian Diaspora Direct Investment Summit based in the United Kingdom. And we have come here to pay homage to His Imperial Majesty, the Oni of Ife, who is the father of all the Nigerians, encouraging Nigerians to come back home, to come and create businesses, to come and create employment, and help solve the critical problem of Nigeria, which is unemployment. Uh, in the process of reaching out to his imperial majesty and then she explained to us that uh, Odu Olokun is um, 
a yearly event uh, to celebrate the it's, it's a prayer uh, event uh, that's that's all we know about it and it's to showcase our culture and this is where it represents peace it represents uh, prayers uh, to bring peace and unity to the community and that's why we're wearing white you can see we're wearing white like you <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so we're out here. The Olokun Festival is in full swing. The Oni is somewhere behind there. I tell you, everything is really hot like fire. Our culture and heritage is just amazing. Yes, this is the shrine. It's part of the proceedings. We are here. My name is Princess Modupe Ozolua and tonight we're celebrating one of our fabulous female deities, Olokun, and it's a celebration of womanhood, of power, of success, and it should be emulated in every avenue, in every axis of our lives. Women should be celebrated and praised because after all, we are the bedrock of society and homes. So let's all live in peace and happiness. God bless you. Reach over Piper. 